Look, I think, how did you come to this? Because I think it's, uh, I think the first thing is that uh, a huge part of people listening to us uh, get into these technologies mostly because they find some influencer or they find some okay. kind of myth around crypto and everyone gets some fascination. They will make some quick buck. And probably if you're younger, probably in the NFT revolution, if you are a bit older, probably you heard about all the Bitcoin, about the crypto, and you end up actually here. But in the end of the day, behind this, there's blockchain technology, which is the purpose of your work and a lot of the things you've been doing here. And like you said, digital assets. So how did you got into this and what made you come and start working on this? Let's start with that question more personal before you go to the other one. And as well, your context with France education, because I will always like to look at this from a local versus global perspective. Yeah, of course. Um, I would say how I came up to, to this to this uh, to this approach. Um, I think there were several signals uh, regarding uh, the approach of technology. We have we have seen several evolution uh, regarding tech stuffs. Uh, um, and I think one main uh, innovation, one main uh, point that is that was currently uh, creating problems in the current state of the economy was obviously the financial point. Um, there is there is a lot of flows in this in this industry, and uh, which made me come come in this industry is that I had the feeling um, crypto, but most of all the technology behind crypto, uh, re represented the future of our society and it was really that point that main point that made, made me think okay there is something to do um everything is going uh yeah everything every digital stuff is going to be global uh there is a mass adoption of the internet worldwide and it looks to me that it's the natural evolution of what internet will look like in several years and that's finally how i came up by passion obviously but still I think also that there is a question of timing. And I think now we are seeing a huge evolution of the way people perceive value uh, of the data you share, uh, the data you own uh, in the internet. And finally, what, what is interesting with blockchain is that you are the owner of your data and you can sell it, you can create it, and you can resell it. You have a real data management, uh, and I would say also an individual data management uh, for yourself. You can store your own uh, money uh, and don't be, I would say, uh, subject to uh, banks, uh, bankruptcy or other things. So I think it's it's a more uh, global vision. There is a tech aspect. Uh, there is also a social aspect, and most of all a philosophical aspect, which is uh, quite interesting. Saying that finally. Today we are we are in a world where companies are really um, um, uh, are in a situation where they own all the data and you cannot manage it. Uh, if you take a look at Google search and so on, they manage more than ninety percent of the research in uh, in uh, on the internet. And I truly believe that it cannot stay like this. We have to give people the power of their data. Their data. So that's the main point, I would say, the three main points, the tech aspect, the social aspect, and the uh, uh, most of all, uh, uh, the, the, the aspect uh, linked to the, the financial uh, monopolistic position. Uh, interesting, and I completely uh, agree with what you said. 